Hello everybody, it's Amstrad Live Game Testing episode 119! As Craig says, we really are soldiering on. I guess that's the word. How is everyone doing this fine Saturday afternoon? Or evening? E afternoon? I, I have no concept of time anymore. It's a problem with doing all the bloody things I do. Doing too much. I've put too much on my workload, I really have. But anyway, here we are. This is the most important part of the week. It's this. It's Amstrad Live Game Testing with Chewy on the decks. Lovely to see Chewy. Turn that down for goodness sake. Oh, he, he loves a bit of a uh, Spitfire, does he? Oh, go on then. Go on then. We'll, t we'll turn it down a little bit. There we go. Original log and saved log. Well, I don't recommend you save your logs because that kind of thing is rather disgusting. But anyway, hello everyone, GP, hello, fellow bug simps, I'm glad you simp after me, GP. Chief89, how you doing, sir? Welcome bug army peoples, Technic, H's Retro Gamer, CPC Game Reviews, Nick, how you doing, buddy? Mouse Star, regular, hello, Riella Belly, I'm going to be mentioning you in a second. T-Dog, hello, welcome back. Pete Walker, General Pete Walker, and General Harrison, and General Sweet Nanak, all in the all we need is Sam to complete the full officers lineup. I'm sure he'll be in later. Mike ZT, hello. How you doing, Texy? Just finished Twitch streaming uh, Oh No More Lemmings, I'm assuming on the Amiga. How you doing, Texy? Uh, Mr. Spot put his head up down the toilet. He was looking for the captain's log. Oh my word. See, you got bloody tumbleweed straight out of the bat there from Technic. First tumbleweed of the evening. Goes to Technic. John Faruga, how you doing, buddy? Welcome back to Amsterdam Live Game Testing. Uh, I think uh, who else is in there as well? Uh, blah 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 blah. Isla is Isla plays. Hello, Isla plays. David Watkins, hello. Early doors there, of course. How are you doing? Welcome all to Amstrad Live Game Testing. Gila is in there as well. Hello, Gila. Hello, Retro and Lim. Hello, Eddie Sneaker Freak. I know we did. Yes. Uh, the music, the music, the mu yes indeed, um, uh, yes indeed, so he is here, it's here again, it's, it is here again, so any, any, any more log jokes before we get out of the way with, uh, you know, this is the, um, this is Spitfire 40, which is uh, the second copy of Spitfire 40 that I've got, so I just thought I'd, that's the warm up game, so uh, yes, hello sir to you two as well. So, evening peeps, hello FC. I thought you were streaming FC, weren't you? If, maybe he is streaming at the same time, who knows? I hope you. It'd be funny if you are actually FC. Go, Chewy, go, indeed. Oh, yeah, the, the tune's banging, Chief. Spit Roast 40. Oh, Retro and Limb, Tumbleweed time for you. Ego Chip, right. I'm glad Ego Chip's here. Everybody, this is the last night and day tomorrow. You can put your entries into the competition. Now, there's no excuses, no excuses at all for anyone. We've had like I think, five entries. That's all we've had. It's uh, we we need more. So go into my Discord, go to competitions, and enter the competition to win one of Ego Chips games. Ego Chips exclusive game, should we say, uh, of uh, Chaos Rising One and Two. Get in there, read the rules. Remember what what. Basically, top. Nobody wants my game. Oh, don't be silly. I, I know what. You know what I'll do, mate. They, they do. They do. I'm, I'm going to make them. They do want your game. Uh, I'm streaming a quiz, but I don't want to miss out on the Nova stream. Ah, Nova stream. No, new, new, new way of calling it. Bug stream, normally. So, Simmy. Hello, Simmy. Right. As I was saying, get into Discord now. There is a link to my Discord. Go into my Discord now. If you haven't done this already, go into competitions and. Say your top, not your top, a, a top 10 list of Codemasters games. What would I choose as top my top 10 Codemasters list? What do you think my top 10 Codemasters list would Just Just go in there and just, you know what, just randomly put 10 Codemasters games. Bang, just do that. Just go in there now and do it. Trust me, that's, the, that's what we want to do. So do that right now. I'll wait for it. Right. Okay. Um... There we go. Uh, soda Stream. Oh dear. It's a, so it's a Soda Stream, is it? It's a great game. 
It is a great game. It says Chaos Rising One and Two are great games. Chaos, uh, Chaos Rising Two, I think, is actually brilliant. So, and Ego Chip wants to win Ego's bathwater. Ego, what do you think about that? Ego, GP wants your bathwater, used or fresh? Don't know. It's the only way you can get a copy. Yeah, it's the only way. It's true. It's the only way. I'll have a copy. Ego Chip's got a copy, I believe. And there's three more copies you can get, and that's it. That's it. You can't get any more copies. There's no way, unless unless I duplicate them or somebody else does, or Ego Chip does, no one's else going to have another copy. That's it. So go into my Discord now and do it. Do it, do it, do it. Tomorrow night is when the competition ends, and I will post tomorrow night my top 10 Codemasters games, and the people that have been closest to it, the three people that are closest to it, will win a copy of Ego Chip's game. Do it now. Right, now, that's all over and done with. And I'm going to remind you again later on as well. Um, Retro and Limber drink a gallon of bug water. Oh, Pete Walker. <laughs> We're going to get a tumbleweed now. For every time someone says a great charity stream. Special tumbleweed worthy for every time charity stream. Thank you very much, Pete Walker, for the 464. The magical 464. Chibi needs a holiday. Uh, it's Chewy again tonight, I'm afraid. She will have a little bit of holiday soon. We're gonna, we're gonna, for episode 120, I was going to do something a little bit different. We're actually gonna give the Amstrads a break for episode 120. Uh, episode 120 will be maybe a Commodore stream? Maybe? Maybe? I will let that one hang there. By the way, Pete Walker gets a nom 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 nom. Of course he does. And of course, a spinning rustlers. Right. So we'll give, we may give her a holiday soon. Have a set, Paneer. Hello, how are you doing? Right, uh, the second thing on the agenda. The second thing on the agenda. What are you, what are you doing, Retro Lim? We'll do it later, I'm in work. <laughs> Git. Commodore stream, fuck off. <laughs> well, you've got to shake it up now and then. Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I'm not saying there's a maybe. I'm not... We are not we're, we're not, we're not, we're not distances of Amstrad on this channel, of course not, we are solely Amstrad, the heart and the brain and the crotch area is probably in Amstrad, I'm sure it is with GP and Simi anyway. Uh, Nova's letting Summit hang, um, am I, am I letting Summit hang? Summit, it's funny you should say Summit in that way, that's interesting you should say that Anna, but we'll see. Anyway, <laughs> I'm subscribing subscribe now, yeah. <laughs> vote for the mega stream. I'll vote for a mega stream. A mega stream again. Oh, maybe a master system stream? Maybe? Who knows? Uh, let's go for something different. Uh, just for one special episode. That's all. So, the other thing we need to mention. Uh, Yellow Belly is here. Andrea is here. So let's mention something. Uh, let's wait for this. Uh, wait for Chief's uh, thing to come out. Here we go. Mister, uh, Mister, as for the great show, say thank you, Chief. Thank you, mate. Nom 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 for Chief there. Thank you, Chief. E. Spinning rustlers, of course, for you, my good sir. All right. This we want to talk about. This. Right. This is the legendary book, the Magnum Opus, uh, penned by the lovely Andrea Wyatt and uh, starring uh, Yellow Belly. There he is on the cover with Andrea, looking very Buxton. The gorgeous Andrea and the even more gorgeous Yellow Belly with his lovely um, Bruce Dickinson hair, um, looking uh, rather hard on the cover. I mean, I mean, of course he's looked rather hard. I mean, he's standing over a beautiful Andrea, so of course he would be rather hard. No double and double entendres there. But uh, this is the book that's uh, been... Uh, it's coming out, I believe, soon, isn't it? It's been coming out. It's coming. Well, science coming out. I believe it's be released soon. You guys, uh, Andrea and Yellow Belly, are in the chat now, so they will give you more details on that. I don't know what before Yellow Belly or Andrea. I guess it's. I'll oh, just toss. I bet you just just toss. But that is the cover of the book. It looks fantastic. Very barbarian inspired, of course. Yes, yes. Isla was my Isla was my daughter's friend. Yes, GP. So ke behave yourself, GP. Uh, is it a hardback? Oh, I don't know. Yellow Belly have to answer the questions there. It's at the printers now. So if you want a copy, uh, you'll have to contact Andrea or 
Yellow Belly. And you can do that via their Discords. Uh, well, via Yellow Belly's Discord. You can get, you can contact them through my Discord, of course. Feel free. Use my Discord as a bridge to get to Yellow Belly and Andrea, of course. The bridge over the fiery waters. And this stars loads of people. Um, there's loads of people in this. Um, I'm in this. Zypho's in this. Loads of people in the chat are in this. Pete Walker. Um, I believe he, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I think Simmy's definitely in it. Craig, I think, is in it. Uh, there's so many people in it. John Gage is in it. Uh, list them all off. You can list them all off. Yellow Belly is sticking his sword somewhere. Yeah, it, it's missed. It, so hopefully that's uh, you know the way it is. Not over trouble water then. Uh, use Nova use Nova's Discord to bridge it to mine. But dum bum oh, lovely tumbleweed there. That's a golden tumbleweed almost. That one, Yellow Belly. Wonderful. Yeah, this is a great thing. Uh, a great thing that they've come up with. Um, the, 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 the fantasy adventures of Yellow Belly and Lady Andrea, starving all the Amstrad community retro gaming YouTubers. It's fantastic. I can't wait to read it. And what I will be doing is when I've got I've got my copy, when I've got my copy, I will be doing a book review of this. Of course I will. Uh, so look forward to that because I, I look forward to reading it. I look forward to laughing. I look forward to uh, doing some quotes maybe and doing definitely doing a, uh, a book review. So I cannot wait. So yeah, get hold of the Yellow Belly. Uh, I mean, we'd all want to get hold of Yellow Belly. Of course we would. But you can get over him through my Discord, go to or his Discord, uh, whatever. Either way, uh, then that's that's the way you're going to get a copy. That's the way you're going to get a copy. Just to have a Discord on Discord. Yeah, class action lawsuit incoming. <laughs> They had my permission, you tight git. Anna was a Jackanory with Novabug. Indeed, it might be a bit of a uh, yeah, Buganori. Buganori with Novabug. So, uh, there we go. So, uh, that's my promo for Yellow Belly and Andrea's fantastic book. Volume 1, of course. Mmm, maybe left on a cliffhanger. Who knows? But it's fantastic. So. <laughs> Retro limbs all over it. I'm sure he is Re being romantic in the book. Oh, right. Does it come with a centerfold poster? Centerfold poster. Oh, yes. Probably of yellow belly. Of course. I'm guessing it is. <laughs> okay. Shall we get on to the games then? We've waffled on for 16 minutes or whatever it is. Let's get on to tonight's games. We do have a, v a nice selection. An interesting selection. Of games. Let me just uh, put myself on bug cam because that's what we call it now, don't we? Okay, right. Um, we have got. Let me just uh, take a slurp. Uh, yellow bellies are starting it too. Um, oh yes, I've worked their asses off for this. Hope they get. Hope they get a decent amount back. Right, it's just for the fun, though. I'm sure it's just for the fun. It's not for the. Not, not for the monetary gains, even though that would be lovely for them, and they do deserve it. That's very true. And I believe it's just for the, uh, just for the fun. Right. So yes, like I said, this is uh, Spitfire Forty. What's another bug slurping tonight? Just a bit of cause, a bit of cause light tonight. Cause light tonight. Maud, hello, Maud. It's not for profit. There you go. They did good. They did good indeed, Anna. They're very true. Right, the games tonight, so we can get on with the show. Um, we have got on the. You said this earlier, Anna. Uh, Summit. Well, this is Summit. Summit on the Summit label. Hijack. Uh, but now, now Summit are a, uh, a spin-off. They're, they're like a secondary label to uh, to Alternative. So there's Alternative and there's Summit. You can see the, the similarities in the designs, can't you? You see. So uh, yeah. So. Secondary to collecting uh, stuff like uh, for the alternative software is Summit label stuff. There weren't many released on the Summit label. Uh, and the other one is Winner's label as well. So that is uh, Hijack, Summit crap. It's it's for Summit crap. We're all very good. You predicted it. Yeah, you did. You predicted that. I don't know how you did that. Anna, you are psychic. Absolutely. Oh, the Rebound label, which is a Houston label. Tiranog, ti oh, I always get that wrong. Tiranog, 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 Tiranog. A fighting game, basically. It's a type of fighting game. Tiranog. 
is that Tiranog, Tiran Tinanog, Tiranog, Tiranog. I'm going to call it Tiranog. There we go, Tiranog. There we go. We I've never played it. Um, I've seen it played. Never played it though. We'll see. We have now. I don't, I don't know about you, but what do you think text adventures? Do you think graphic text adventures can be about cricket? Because alternative software thought they could be. So this is cricket crazy, which appears to be a graphical text, a graphic text adventure about cricket. Now there's one called Football Frenzy, which is about football, but this is about cricket. I'm assuming you're managing a cricket team. Uh, bizarre. Um, yeah, the tiny island of St Malcolm's have basked in the Caribbean sunshine. What? What kind of backstory is that? You must get your team to the St Malcolm's Cricket Ground and in part two you must play the match itself. Right, so it's about a, a, a Caribbean cricket team and you've got to get them to the cricket ground and then you've got to play the match. Wow. Text adventures are boring and cricket is boring food. That is a... Yeah, it's a, yeah you're right. Text adventures are boring. Cricket is boring. This would be riveting. It sounds interesting, doesn't it? What's Yeah, what's crazy... Like Maud says, what's crazy about it is making a game, a, a graphic text adventure about cricket. I mean, that's really scraping the bottom isn't it hey but let's let's excite things up shall we with this codemasters release which is pro power boat simulator ooh, ooh pro power boat so when you go for the doldrums and you're snoring with cricket uh you, you can jump into your speed boat power boat thing your drag racing boat and um kill yourself essentially um yes pro power boat simulator on the codemasters label and tonight's tonight's main event uh, oh, Chef United relegated, ah! Tonight's main event on the double jewel case is everyone's favourite Russian army killing its, its Green Beret. There it is, the famous Green Beret on the Amstrad. You love it, some people love it, some people hate it. Um, I particularly kind of like it. I, I, don't mind the, I don't mind the push scrolling on this. It's Green Beret, the double jewel case, this is the uh, you know, full release. Not the budget re-release, the full release. Uh, I hope that loads, because it's an original release. It's green, and it's, um, yeah. There we go. Right, let's get cracking, shall we? Let's uh, reset Chewy, and let's start with Hijack. Now, of course, we need predictions, everyone. Konami Classics, indeed. Uh, they were a disgrace to the Prem. Right, thank you very much. We weren't great to the Prem either, but there we go. Right, oh, it's a very nice pink label. Look at that. Um, pro motorboat simulator. Pro motorboat simulator. I thought you were going to say pro 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 waterboard simulator or something. Anyway, um, my ears say thank you to you, Nova. Oh, I've turned the volume off. Right. Okay. So five out of five for David Watkins. Four out of five for Technic. Uh, six out of five. Six out of six, obviously, for Simi. Five out of five. In Ye for Yellowbelly, he has faith in Chewy. Malstar goes for five out of five. And GP goes for his obligatory one out of five. Because he loves a one out of five, does it? One in five. Uh, Malstar goes for a five out of five. Uh, I just said that. Marzi goes for a five out of five. And Pete goes for a five out of five. Uh... 80s Retro Gamer wants a full load. He loves a full load and, he's, and he wants one. He wants a 5 out of 5 full load. Chief feels a bit mediocre tonight and he's going for a 3 out of 5. Um, Maud goes for a 4 out of 5. Yep, pretty confident. When is the Christmas special? Funnily enough, at Christmas, oddly, Leslo. Uh, 5 out of 5 says uh, Taxi and 4 out of 5 says Retro and Lim. 5 out of 5 from g -Lar. Um The usual for uh, Avocet Panier, his usual... Going down the pint, going down the pub for a usual four out of five. Uh, next week, apparently. <laughs> Sweet Nanook, General Nanook, with a five out of five. And Ego Chick goes for a four out of five. Chewy a go go. Chewy is a go go indeed. Mike ZT goes for a five out of five. Lots of confidence in Chewy tonight, which is good to see. I should get myself off Big Cam, by the way, because you can't see the loading screen. <laughs> There we go. All right, that's better. Uh, cricket loading is a failure. Not loading is is a success. Uh, we can have a twerk now. I'm not twerking. I'm not. Uh, it's not charity night yet. <laughs> five out of five. Full house for FC Den Haag, and he says it in the words. 
Um, and Laszlo goes for a grot bags full uh, a grot bags full house. Um, I'm not sure about that, but a five out of five. Did I get a new tattoo? Uh, no, no, no. I've got no. I've got new. I've got new, ta new tattoos. No, my tattoos are the same that they've always been. Chewy behave. Oh, let's hope she does tonight. She has been. She's been very good. She's been behaving herself very well uh, recently. Uh, the main thing here is, of course, Green Beret. We want to have Green Beret loaded, don't we? Andrea goes for a full house five out of five as well. Fantastic. Four will low. Cricket crazy will chew in spectacular fashion. The bonus game will just fail boringly. Well, the bonus games are all coming from the same cassette, aren't they, uh, Craig? They're all coming from the Mega Play 2 cassette, and they, they have been loading very well. So who knows? Um, uh, Retro Limb, that's... No. That. Okay. Uh, animation by Nigel. Oh, yes, yes. Nigel Nigel did the animation. Oh, Nigel. Miles or M -I -M -I -M -I -M I's? Isles did the design. Okay. Fair enough. GP! Thank you very much for the £3.17. What a strange amount, but a lovely amount. Thank you very much, GP. Salute to you, GP. Thank you very much. You, of course, get a nom noms. He loves a nom noms, does GP. Nom 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 nom. And a spinning rustlers. The good old GP, but a great, a funny amount, but hey, where to go? Where to go, GP, like Mouse says. Different. Definitely different. Programming graphics, David Shire of Paradise Software. God, don't, grubby pervert. Maybe. I remember Hijack ad. They're very annoying. I don't think I've ever played this. Looks like some kind of adventure game. Is it? A, it's like a room-based adventure game, it looks like. Not, not a text adventure. Uh, you, you're in charge of the hijack division. You can move left, move right, move pointer for the employee. Move what? Fire. Pull down for the menu relating to the employee icon. Right, it's like an investigation thing. Not get, doesn't sound exciting, does it? But there we go. Um, what old lady did you did you mug her punching money off today? <laughs> I don't know how he did it. I don't know. He <laughs> maybe. Uh, Steve, you're going to get a slap. <laughs> yeah, well, he's going. If he carries on like that, he's, I'm just going to take him, take his messages off. He's been warned. I gave him a silent warning. Like I, it's like like a, like a. It was like a quiet fart in the face. A silent warning. Uh, Panos P. Hello, Panos P. Hello, chaps and chapettes. You'll notice, Panos P. Your 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 name is now in the ticker, which uh, which is I need I need to update, which I did. So there we go. It's all updated and good good as gold. I don't think he is. Um, maybe GP would do that. Good old Nige, exactly. Good old Nige. See, it's, it's one of those catchphrases. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Have any, have any played Hijack before? I don't know, not me. Uh, maybe, uh, I think CPC Game Movies might have. Who knows? Of course he doesn't. Of course he has no standards. Um, the role he plays is... <laughs> hello. Hello. In the red corner. Here we go. Behave, everybody. Right. Uh, get that smash. Oh, yes. Thank you very much, Pete, for that one. Thank you. And I'll, I'll just take a time. I'll go back under my rock. Please do. Uh, don't drop it on your foot, Retro Limb. I'm only joking. You know I love you, really. That's only because I want a pint out of the tight git. Um, now, now, now. Oh, oh what was he got some? We, we got some cheeky stories. Hello. It stopped loading. It's literally just stopped loading. Um. Um. <laughs> Anything? Hello? Oh! Okay, okay, right. Press fire to continue. I thought that was a fail. Press fire to continue. Yeah, I've, I've been doing that. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> How did that happen? Look, okay, we had the ghosts in here. Look, 
the, go the ghosts. They must have come in and taken the controller out. Chewy. I did not take that out. I swear to God, I did not take that out. <laughs> Why did that suddenly? What an absolute prong. <laughs> Nova Def. I can't hear it. I can't. I couldn't hear the music. Could you hear the music? Because I couldn't hear the music. <clears throat> I think I am going to see that. I think you're right, Ego. Early signs. I'm going to have to turn the music up because I didn't even hear it. If there, if there was music. Um... Hang on a minute. Let me just turn the music up a bit. I had to turn it down earlier because CPC Game Reviews was getting upset. Hey. Right. Okay. Right. He goes that way. He goes this way. Does not go down? Right. Okay. How do I? So, so if I stop, then I got the pointer. Right. Okay. So that's the pointer. So I can do that. So this dude. The political system to return to your office, send diplomats to hijack. <laughs> Quit. Okay. Um, Specky clone by any chance? Who's this dude? He's, he's my mirror! Let's go this way. Can't, uh, return to your office. Of course, sir. Right away. Piss off. Died him. Told him. Told him. Piss off. Go. Um, this guy is slow is a slow walker. Let's go to the door. Can we move to the door? We can't move to the door. We seem to just be moving. FBI agent. Oh, we can't do anything with that. Yeah, I don't know how to play it. So I'm not going to. It's a big office. I never work out how to play this game, unfortunately. No, I, I don't. I, I, it would take a while to sort of like... See now from being too hunky. Thank you very much, GP. But we do, of course, get a success. So it's a winner. Well, it's not a winner, it's just a loader. So uh, that's, that's the best we got. Reminds me of City Slicker, I can never work that out either. Yeah, I probably will read the instructions, but of course, we're loading games tonight, so that's what it's all about. Um, I did actually have a brief read of the instructions. Uh, what Anna said. Um, the only way to win is to is not to play. Oh my word! Look at these. The instructions are quite extensive. Uh, don't think political women are general when maneuver pulled down. Oh my god! No, that's quite in depth. That's quite in depth. Uh, probably have to sort of like sit down and think about that. One day I will actually get around to probably most Amstrad games and and actually think about the game and actually work them out how to play them because I can do that. <laughs> I have the ability to sort of sit down and learn a game. Uh, but, you know, if you don't grab you straight away. Remember the old Amstrad action grab factor? Not really got a grab factor. First game is loaded. I think it might be a specky port. Looks awful, says Ego Chip. Um, reminds me... Yep, I said that already. Uh, it's a big office. It is. It's all like working on its own as well now. There we go. But it loaded. That's all we needed to do. That's all we needed to know. Hijack loaded. So... Who wants to move on to the next game? Can we reset like that? No, we can't. Right, okay. So let's... Next game. Tyrannog. 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 You know, people say it's a bad game. I don't know. I've never played it. Let's find out. Uh, one day I will do that means I will never do that. Yeah, it's, you're probably right, is it? You're probably right, Mike. Yeah. Grab factor zero. Yeah, I know. It had that feel about it, John. It really did. There was a long play of the Spectrum version of City Stick on YouTube. They had to disassemble the code and reverse engineer it to get the solution. <laughs> you see, that's, yeah, weird. In some of these games are so, are so ridiculously abstract. You don't even grasp the You can kind of get the basic functions, but not actually grasp the um, what's going on. You really can't. Um, very much so. Uh, hello. Pete... Oh, Pete Walker, hold on a sec. I'm using that to poke Retro and Limb with. Carry on, Andrea. Indeed. But um, -dum. <laughs> he, he likes a poke with a sharp stick, mostly. Uh, I'm, so I'm told. Tumbleweed there, I think, for the, for, for the moment. I had this one, I can't remember the game. It's a fighting game, I think, 80s retro game, I believe. Uh, it, rem it reminded me of, like, uh, oh, what's that other game? Uh... 
Uh, there's a game that's similar looking to this. Is it Ninja Master? Um, Ninja Warrior or something like that. It's very similar to this in the way it is. Uh, Tiranog is a Celtic phrase meaning land of youth. Really? Did not know that. There you go. Gargoyle Games 1984. Sometimes I prefer the CPC start startup screen over the game. No, no. I'm with you on that one, Chief. That's probably true. Uh, it's something I used to love some of the artwork on the start on, on the uh, screens. But I think he means the blue screen. <laughs> I never saw the point of beating the game anyway. I wouldn't particularly want to save Parliament from being blown up. <laughs> no, I wouldn't advocate for that. I wouldn't advocate for violence. But I, I get the sentiment. Uh, of course the wooden face, yes, yeah, yeah, of course, it is a bit, I suppose it is a bit Celtic, Old English kind of thing, yeah, yeah, Dundarak is similar, yeah, Dundarak is, it has that corner to sort of remind me of that kind of thing. It actually said that in the instructions of the copy that my brother had at the time. <laughs> ah, let me read it, let me read it then, let me read it, let's just see if it does say that. My God, the bloody text is really small. Uh, oh, so got a map. I've got, oh, look at that, that's nice. Look, look, nice map inside. You get a map of the area. Uh, is Gay... Uh, the tongue of the Gaelic... Yes, yeah, from Gaelic. Quests, penalties, pathways, doorways, weapons, treasures... Sidra Brun Brudin. <clears throat> yeah, it's definitely uh, some Gaelic stuff going on. Is this a shoot him up? I don't think so. <clears throat> I'm sure he did. Huge characters on this game. I think they're, 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 they are quite large, aren't they? I'm sure this is like a, it's like an adventure beat em up. I'm sure it is. Like amazing. Arnie, hello. Evening, Gadget. Hello, Gadget. How are you doing? Arnie and Gadget in the house. Hello, peoples. Uh, lovely big, big print on the original. Yeah. I suppose this would have had a... Is this a budget re-release? I suppose it would be on the re... Yeah, it would be on the rebound label. Which is good. So, like I said, I've never played it. Never played it. Um, interesting, it's on the Houston label. done by Gargoyle Games. 1984, yes. Yes, oh yes, we're going back in time, G-Law. Back in time, gotta get back in time. FC's in the bathtub. That's nice to know, FC. Um, don't touch yourself in any inappropriate places while uh, I'll, I'll, I'm streaming and you're in the bath. But it's nice to know that someone's in the bath and watching my stream. It's 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 quite reassuring that. David Jenner, hello, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? And indeed, yes. Uh, hello, Arnie. Early, early. Uh, lots of tedious walking around. Lots of clues and p and solutions to the puzzles that are very obscure. I'm gonna, yeah, then, yeah. Are we, are we talking about Tiranog still? Tir Tir Tiranog, Tiranog, Tiranog. I'm gonna say Tiranog. Tir Tiranog, Tiranog. It's actually got an, it's actually got an accent on the O as well at the end there. <clears throat> It could be pronounced completely differently, and probably is. Probably absolutely butchering that. It seems like a quick load, this one. I yeah, I thought you were. Um, I bet he's cleaning. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't want to know what he's cleaning. I don't want to know, John. <laughs> obscure puzzles were present in games, and that yes, they were. Yeah, always, always obscure stuff. Like I said, very abstract. And uh, you know, to work out what the hell's going on. So many games. I've actually completed many games like that by working out meticulously what exactly what to do. I mean, I think Streaker was a lot like that. Streaker was a lot of. Um, is that obvious? That 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 certain item stops that certain enemy. And worked it out eventually. Even with the bug that uh, the uh, Amstrad version's got. World of Youth. Uh, Maud liked walking around aimlessly, but this, but in in this, but never worked out what to do. Whoever said Dundarak looked like this is because the game is, is a prequel to this, and you should play, and you play as the same character. Ah, Texas, the new fountain of knowledge here. It seems. I have played Dundarak before. 
a long time ago, but I've actually got it as well. I think I've got it. Uh, David Jenner loves Streaker. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a long play of the Amsterdam version of Streaker. Actually, on my... Hello. Here we go. Enter Tinanog. Save game. Restore game. You can save the game. Awesome. On cassette, of course. And you can, it's even got a demo mode. Let's have a look at the demo mode. Wow! That's surprisingly good visuals. And animation. That animation's really good. I'm actually quite surprised by that animation. That animation's pretty nice. I didn't realise it was the same character either, yeah. They made Yugi Yugi Go card based oh uh, they made a Yugi Yugi O based. Actually had the Spectrum version. Ah So he kinda of wanders around hunchback here as well, but he's you know How do I exit that? How do I exit that? I'm in the I'm in the demo mode and I don't know how to exit it. North, south, east, west. Exit. 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 The demo. Oh, oh, do you have to let? Do I have to let the demo play? Well, something paused the game. A five paused the game. Ah, oh, here we go. Right. Some. Some. Some reason. Um, is Irish folklore? Yes. Yes. Parallax scroll in this. Right. Enter. Enter. Let's go. Uh, oh, did I not do my? Did I? Uh, am I not on key? I'm, I'm sure I was on joystick here. I've got my joystick plugged in this time. Uh, or do I just need keys? I'm um, probably keys. Oh, hello. North, south, east, west. Uh, is it all on keys? Is it? Oh, hello. He just wanders on his own. This dude. He just seems to wander on his own. Okay, so that's stop. Eh? Oh, he's turning around, I see. He's turning around. Turn that way. Nice animation, though. Nice animation. I uh, probably don't I have no clue what's going on. Nipples, yes, he's got nipples. So that's reset the game. Ah, <sighs> dear. Oh, God, here we go, right. Uh, controls. Uh, keyboard assignments. Doesn't say joystick. The four corner key. The four corner keys. Walk left. Alternate keys in the bottom row. Really? Okay. Ah, here we go. Right. Okay. Let's get. We're getting somewhere now. We're getting somewhere. Right. I can wander this way. Nice parallax scrolling. Yeah. Uh, let's give it a, a success. Let's just wander this way. No. Right, okay, so that's turn around. And that's wander this way, with his hair waving in the wind. Okay, so if I, if I stop there, can I turn there? And if I turn there, there. There we go. Well, that's interesting. Um, how do you save progress? Well, you would do it on the cassette. You, it would it would save the progress of the game on the cassette. May, f f fair few games do that. It's pronounced Kukulan. Kukulan. Snore them up. Yes, I, I believe it then. Evening, you sexy money fun muddy funsters. Hello, sexy Simon Green. How are you doing? <coughs> Looks like a boring version of Scooby-Doo. <clears throat> uh, the parallax effect of this game is beyond its time. Love it. Kodak's TIFF video... Egypt M. It's good parallax, I've got to give it that. It's nice, it's nice parallax. It's quite sweet, the animation, but you know, it's one of those weird sort of I don't know what's going on thing. There we go. <clears throat> right, okay, but it did load. That's good. Let's escape that. That was Tyrannog. Certainly interesting. Not whether it's grabbing me, uh, it's just interesting. Eager chip, this game bored me. I, yeah, it does a bit. A bit like Yellow Belly. Well, if you thought that was boring, Ego, then we're going to try this Cricket Crazy next. Woof. Absolutely Cricket Crazy. Don't worry, we'll finish off with two, with two high-impact stuff. We'll finish off with Pro Powerboat Simulator and Green Beret. 
We'll get the dull stuff out of the way first. Right, anyway, it loads. That's the good news. Cricket crazy. So, I'm sure all of you would always wanted to play a graphic text adventure based off cricket. Of course you did. Of course you did. Because this is going to be absolutely riveting. Absolutely. You're going to be on the edge of your fucking seat at this game. Uh, get to the crease. Well, not that kind of crease. I don't know. Please be a reader around the first block. Hey, Smoothie, how you doing, Malk? It's loading cricket. Well, it, you know it's going to take a while when it says loading cricket, so that's for starters. No, I actually like cricket, but I, am, I know it's a slow game. This is the highlight of the decade. It's the highlight of this entire stream. Get, you know what, episode 100, episode 99, the M M Bridget for Macmillan, uh, the Bridget unboxing, uh, the first, the, the, the chewing of Guzzler, the chewing of um, Eddie... The re rebirth of Eddie. All this is pale in comparison to this epic moment that is happening now. Like I said, text adventure about cricket. It's got to be awesome. There's just no way this isn't going to be the best game I've ever played. Get ready for some hardcore cricket fun. Exactly. This is going to be off the charts. It's going to be centuries knocking everywhere. Oh, it's going to be coming out of you. Bursting out of the screen in, in, in the words. And, and the words... And and the more and more words, I guess. Uh, yeah. Um. I hope you're well. Yes, good mate. I'm good. Uh, please be in the right places. I'm getting really excited over this for no reason. <laughs> oh dear, it's gonna be a it's gonna be an ep you know what? It's also gonna be an epic block loader as well, isn't it? It's gonna be. Is it gonna have a loading screen? <laughs> What's the bets? <laughs> Yeah, okay, exactly. A standard loader with no tile screen. Oh, the excitement. Exactly. There you go. Chief's, Chief's happy. Because Chief said he loved the, the Amstrad loading screens. Uh, Amstrad uh, boot screen. Got me hoil licks ready for a snoozeville. Don't fall asleep. Please don't fall asleep. This is, this is, this is, this is cutting edge. <laughs> it pulled out the stops. They did, didn't they? You go, Chief. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. A few stiff rickets with this one. Oh, boom, boom. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to give a tumbleweed there, but I think we'll go for a Basil. Where's Basil gone? Oh, I've lost Basil. There he is. <laughs> fifth, fifth doctor would play this. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, that's right. Yes, yes. Peter Davidson, the fifth doctor. Oh right, do you want a, do, you, do you want another warning shot, Retro and Limb? Because you're gonna get one. Fucking s no, I'm not gonna say that. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> it doesn't have a title screen until the game is fully loaded. No, I'm not surprised. I'm. Uh, you know what? I'm not surprised. And to be honest, Nick, I would be disappointed if it did. It's gonna be the full tape on this screen, by the way. Low blow, Steve. Yeah, we. He loves a low blow. Normally from some sort of farmyard animal. Um, I don't like football much, but even this is better than cricket. Even that is better than cricket. Ooh. Not a, not a sporty person then, Ego Chip. I love sport, to be honest. Well, I used to. I, I, I've fallen out of love of it a lot recently, I've got to admit. Generally because uh, certain things are just getting infiltrated into it. Um... Uh, we don't need to know that he loves a blow, do we? Well, maybe. I mean, you know, every, well, let's be honest. Who doesn't? Um, <laughs> no read error A. No, 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 no. It's actually loading, John. Um, Novabug make, uh, does it Does it to take... To, uh, Novabug does it take to make... Too many Novabugs does it to take and make, make a meal, right? None. How many Nova Bugs does it take to make a meal? None. All the hot chicks fight over the coronation chicken sandwich filler in Tesco's. <laughs> GP, you're crazy. And you get a tumbleweed for your for your pleasure. Oh, he's, he's, he's quoting um he's quoting uh, Turtles again, nineteen uh, Turtles nineteen ninety movie. He's uh his te his um oh bloody hell I don't know who I've lost but lost where's it gone? Texie, there we go. Texie, oh, I just lost the, lost the feed there. 
Low blow, farmyard animal. Who invited David Cameron? <laughs> I don't like a blow. It makes me gag. Oh, very good. Very good. Novabug does it better. Makes me feel sad for the rest. Oh, thank you very much. Well, don't be because Zypho <laughs> does it better. He does. Let's be honest. He does. Uh, Crumpet is a pretty woman. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah, the old old, old, old term for pretty woman. Nice bit of Crumpet. Um, bit from uh, like the 60s kind of thing. I like that term. It's kind of nice. Kind of like an endearing term, really. And it's a fantastic loading. 99 blocks. This is actually genuine. Yeah, this is this is it. I mean, are you riveted? We're up to block 13. Lucky for some. It's going to get to like block 16 and error B. Americans will want by spicing it up cricket into baseball. Well, I, I don't under-fucking-stand baseball at all. Um, I, lo I love future armors um, take the piss of baseball when they call it Blurns Ball. Uh, I, I think that's hilarious. I have no idea what's going on in baseball. Really don't. I can just about follow. Um, I, can, I can follow ice hockey and I can follow basketball um, for when it comes to American sports. Zypho doesn't twerk though, or tell me to fuck off. Well, you know, sometimes, mate, it's tough love, and you, you know, you gotta, you gotta give it a fuck off now, now and then. Uh, no turdless. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm on tender hooks. I really am. What kind of fascinating music are we gonna get with this? We're gonna get some, you know, major. Cricket music? Is there cricket? Is there such a thing as cricket music? I hope this one's over pretty quickly. Oh no no no! Well, we know we're not going to hang around too much on it. We're really not. We're going to move on to something that's a little bit more, you know, exciting. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, honestly, me falling over right now off this chair would be probably more exciting. Like sun hot buttered crumpets, so I bet you to say no more, sir. Yes, indeed. That's uh, right from Blackadder, isn't it? Hot crumpet burning my cheeks with shame. <laughs> hey Donny, looks this looks why like I suffered from shell shock. Oh god, he's quoting. You been what? Have you been watching the Turtles movie recently, Taxi? Get those hard wooden bats out there, fellas. It's going to be hardcore soon. It is. Damn right. It's going to be exciting shit. I mean, an, an emphasis on the word shit. <clears throat> Yeah, he's ego chip. Um, ego chip. He's uh, Texas quoting uh, um, word lines from the uh, 1990 uh, Turtles movie. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune, dude. <clears throat> anyway, uh, remember bottom when Richie had a red ball st had red ball stains on his pants, rubbing the cricket ball. I don't remember that one actually. Block 18. We have got to block 18. Am I that predictable? Yes, oh, yeah. of course he is. Um, he, th he thinks about telling you what... Yeah, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I suppose, yeah, you're right. Well, everyone thinks about it, Smooth. I mean, we would like to, but I just say it because I know that, you know, we, we're good on that level. Uh, he'd do the same... He does the same to me. And he knows the shit that he's put me through, he deserves it. Like streaming me live on play Blackpool Day and me dancing on a, on a loop for eight hours or whatever it was. I think I'm nearly done, Craig. Um, <laughs> it's coming to the end. Can you see it on cassette cap? Oh! Look at these amazing graphics. Copyright the Dreaming Jin... What? The Dreaming d Jin 88. 1988 Cricket Crazy Here it is Aren't you excited um, My wife says she's leaving me Due to my obsession with cricket It's knocked me for six. Oh my word Tumbleweed for Technic There we go The third game is loaded uh, it's a, It is a nice stiff bat there A nice big stab And a nice stiff bat With a big red ball Um the air, oh my god, here we go. Are we actually in an aircraft here? The aircraft is cold and the window is steamed up. The plane shakes alarmingly. To the right runs the aisle loading to the cockpit. You also see a kit bag. Ram Botham? What? Ram Botham? 
Now, now they're on an aircraft. They're what? They're joining the Mile High Club or something? Ram both them. Didn't think cricket was that kind of game, but there we go. Uh, get kit bag. Okay. I know. Um, um, I'm going to open door. <laughs> you haven't time to fall around. Um, invade cockpit. Something the GP would like to do. <laughs> Go to cockpit. You can't. Fucking hell. Uh, drinks, please. Oh God! Um, drinks, Pete, please, stewardess. Oh fuck off! Whack both of them. Um, bang both of them. Oh no! Ah. <laughs> what next? <laughs> oh my word! Um, yeah. Oh my word! I've, I've tried enter cockpit. Uh, fly a plane. This is about cricket. I'm on a fucking plane. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh dear. Um, what am I supposed to do? Um, just go north. I can't. I go south. I can't. Gonna go west. No, I can't. Gonna go fucking up. I don't know. Sit down. Pardon, there appears to be something happening in the aisle. I don't know. Have a fight. Have a fight. <laughs> Look. Oh, what have I done? Um, I don't know. Wipe off steam. Is that going to work? You haven't got it. Well, I got what? Why haven't I fucking got? I haven't got the steam. I haven't got hands. Shit cricket player, if you haven't got hands. Right, okay, can I break this game? No, 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 I can't break the game. <laughs> Maybe try wait. Oh, no, I just... Oh, I'm stumped. Oh, John! Love it. Stumped. Very good. I did look in bag. It didn't work. Colonel Basic. A cooking adventure on a plane tour. Well, that, you know, that was amazing. I, I just... <laughs> oh, it was amazing. I just loved it. It was fantastic. That's the next one for the Tubers High Score Challenge. Um, <laughs> that's another one for my text adventures, text adventure stream that I want to do. Oh my word! Not difficult for me, Craig Gavishin. This sort of be more the Dreaming Gin, aka Charles Sharp. Ah, that's who he is. He's been outed by CPC Game Reviews for the responsible for that game. It's so exciting, I forgot what it was. It was. I'm actually... What was it? Oh, shit, it's Cricket Crazy. I know it is, because I can see it on the tape. Um, right, okay. Let's get serious now. Let's get to something a little bit more mundane. Wasn't bowled over by that. Oh, Maud. Oh, you. You get a tumbleweed. <clears throat> One for the shit game challenge. I don't even, I don't even know you could get through that. Cricket Crazy. It certainly was. Right. Let's slow things down now. Let's get a bit, let's calm. We like to go out on the ocean waves, you know, taking in the serenity of the open ocean on a calm, cool, sunny day to get some fucking power boats going. Drag racing shit on water. Instant death. Right, it's a loader. It got loaded, yes it did. <laughs> Right. Oh yes, please do, Texie, review that. Power Boat Simulator. Now, come on. Now, this is Codemasters, so we're going to have some music, at least. We haven't had any music since the first game, which CPC Game Reviews loved. Slow things down after the graphic adventure about cricket. Exactly. <clears throat> Loading a power boat. It'll be really gutting if both these games now don't load after this. <laughs> Three out of five so far. If you like Pac-Man or Tetris, you'll love this classic. Horse walks into a bar and a barman says, Why the long flace? Flace, flace. Oh, God, I can't even speak. Face. 
I think we've had that many times before. But Panos, you get a tumble week. No, you don't. You don't get that. Why have I done that? <laughs> I'm getting too excited. Oh, calm down there, bud. No, no, no. This is the second from last game, Mouse Star. Waterboard. Yeah, that's what I said. I said that gag earlier. Waterboarding. Wa waterboarding simulator. That would be a good one. <clears throat> I'd like to know how that one goes. Um, the only problem with waterboarding simulator is that, um, you know, you don't have lives. You probably die for real. Oh, no, this this looks an exciting... We've got a loading screen. We've got... Uh, the fact that we've got a loading screen is news. Um, and it's looking interesting. Oh, an interesting loading screen. Do you see many power boats when you're working? Not a lot. <clears throat> Of course, GP believes that I'm a lifeguard. He'd like, he believes in his fantasy world that I'm a lifeguard. So, cheers for that, um, GP. <laughs> Nearly said your real name there. <laughs> Codemasters logo, it is indeed. And apparently this boat's called Optimus. Fucking hell! The, boat's, uh, the boat turns into a robot. <clears throat> I, this game's going to be crap. By Optimus. Optimus Prime himself made this game. <clears throat> Chris Hasselbug. <clears throat> I don't see many power boats, GP. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Um, I bought 64 caramel lattes from Aldi today. They, oh, oh my god, they're the fucking bomb. Oh, Aldi lattes. Okay, I'll give them a try. I'll give them a try. GP loves it. <laughs> If your powerboat gets stick sick, take it to the dock. I say nothing. I just do that. Right. Oh my god, heaven. Oh, getting turned on by a latte from uh, Aldi's. Fair enough. Right. Um, no, I'm not a not a. I, I have ever been on a speedboat. This is these are power boats, so they're like drag boats. I believe so. Here we go. You never know. Uh, you want to take a dinghy? No, I took care of that at the press conference. And now he's quoting the Naked Gun. You get that for quoting Naked Gun. Uh, and uh, you, Technic, you just really do. Um, no bum bum for this one. Sounds mega healthy that Pete Walker. Yeah, I know. I bet it is. But you know what? I I, I don't mind that. Uh, you know, balance it up. I, 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 be guilt-free, uh, smooth. Be guilt-free. So have the latte, then eat, eat, eat an apple. You balanced it out. In my world, anyway. Um, you know you're getting a good deal on that boat. There's a sail on it. Is there? We got two two. There's two spacemen apparently. <laughs> two spacemen bloody um, boating it, boating it, sailing it. Piloting it, I guess that's suppose what you want to. I suppose pilot is what it is. Yeah. Um, you know, you, yeah, I, I know a sail on it. Yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. And you know what? A tumbleweed for you, David, as well. I think for that. <laughs> I did get the joke. I ignored it. <laughs> well done, David. You have a double tumbleweed for that, in fact. There you go, have a double, double tumbleweed. Uh, you should start a powerboat building business in the bug loft. Sales will go through the roof. Oh, for God's sake. Oh! No music? For a Codemasters game? No music? Shocking. Got to be. Uh, I can't believe it. I cannot, I can't even believe it, Captain. Um, now I want player one joystick. There we go. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, yellow. Let's go for the yellow boat. Come on. We've got sound effects. We've got to have sound effects, surely. Oh, nice. Well, we've got sound effects at least. Uh, I've got let me bombs. And the bloody helicopter's trying to kill me. Because this is, 
is this what you get with simula simulators? Oh, don't hit the jetty. Whee! Oh, so I've gone over the ramp. I'm surprised there's no sound effects. There really isn't. I've let the geezer. Why did I go? Oh, I let him go past me. <laughs> oh, we've got sound effects now. It, it just needs a little bit more ambience, doesn't it? It needs a little bit more ambience. Oh, sorry, no bonus. That's because I wasn't playing it, you bastard. All right, let's give it one more go. I like the way the screen does all that. That's nice. I like the way it all folds up. That's cool. Nice presentation. Let's see if anyone's listed for music. Um, right, he crashed. <laughs> How do I... Uh, Ooh. Oh, damn it. Damn it, damn it and blast. I had some mines at the beginning there, and um, there will be a, a bonus run, a bonus run. Right, let's try the red boat this time. I love the way, I love, I love the presentation though. The presentation's cool. Just need some music. I thought it would have music. Mines, right, I've got some mines now. Right. Just hit the rowers out of the way. <laughs> Do I have to destroy the boat? Right, I can get that. Get out of my way, boys. Ah! No, here we go. Oh! Yeah, jumped it. Look at that style. Let's move, 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 move. Yes, and I've won the race, that one. Uh, could at least add a title music. Yeah, I know, it needs, it needs music. It really needs music. But there you go, nice presentation. Nice presentation. <clears throat> no boner. There we go. Right, excellent. That was Power Boat Simulator. And of course, success. I think we need the cricket game back. No, it uh, doesn't look too bad actually. It just it looks quite fun. I might give that an NRG. I'll put on my list for NRG. Red Boat looks like one of those Tommy Tronic 3D games. Oh yeah, yeah. I, mean, I had one of those. I had the car one. The, it was the white one, the car one. Four out of five. Okay, everyone, prepare. Get your green berets out. Oh, I want this to load. Original tape. Look at that. Look, look. Original tape. There we go, put that on cassette cam there for you. Look at that. Green Beret, you know, we know we know we know we know how Green Beret is, so we can we can uh, give this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, the, it was the race car one, wasn't it, Smoothie? Yeah, the race car one. Yeah, I I, re I did love that, yeah. I, I I played that a lot. I wish I know what happened to it. I really enjoyed that, and I'd I'd still love it today. Great fun that was. Great little game. You get it doesn't have a beret, unfortunately. Don't recognise it until the gameplay. You can get emulators for them. I'm sure you can now as well. Weirdly enough, but they were really simple but real fun. <clears throat> Come on, last loader. For those in the US, Green Beret is probably better known as, as Russian Attack. Yes, we all know that, Texy. Thank you. It's called Russian Attack, indeed. But this is the uh, now. This is the tape version. Now this is, I, I don't know whether this is the, because I had the re-released version um, in, back in the day. And I s s distinctly remember that when you stab the enemies, when you kill the enemies, they turn into red and orange skeletons. All of them do. Now in, in all the disc versions I've played since, they don't do that. They just sort of like jump and die. <clears throat> uh, they do if you shoot them with the, um, with, with the flamethrower. But every but every one of the enemies in in my original version of the game, they turned into sort of like that orange skeleton. So uh, we will see. Uh, Ego chip, that was really good for that. That was the uh, yeah, that was the racing one. Over there. yeah, that was the racing one. Yeah, definitely had the racing one. That was the one I had. Games were objectively better in the eighties and the nineties before everything became so amalgamated on smartphones. I am going to agree with that. Actually, uh, Ego chip, 
Yeah, that's why the why the why do you think the eight bit community is so strong nowadays? Is still going and like yourself making good games, because it's exploring our imagination and uh, you know pushing the boundaries of these old machines and seeing what we can do now. I definitely agree. I definitely agree. You had to you had to use your imagination a lot with these games as well, didn't you? You had to really get into it. You had to want to become part of the experience. Want to. You do, it doesn't force you in. It doesn't, it's all like, oh, look at these flashy graphics and sound effects and callbacks and sort of like all these pop culture references. None of that. Sometimes with the pop culture references, but most of all, it was like, here's a basic game and what can your imagination do? It's like a book. It's, it's, it's like comparing a book to like a feature film, isn't it? It's like with a book, you can get more out of it by using your, your imagination more. I'm getting very philosophical here. <clears throat> Green Bird. Yes. Green Barry, <laughs> Grown Bert. Oh, here we go. Here we go with all the Green Beret um, twists now. All the Green Beret references. Green Beret on the run. Uh, imagine the name of Going Bust. Well, they did some decent games though, didn't they? So, no microtransactions. Yes, Xbox of the eighties. <laughs> yes, indeed. Fantastic. Uh, oh, what would uh, what, what did we find crap? What did Andrea find crap? Uh, Zypho has everything. He has a lot of stuff. He has a big collection of of stuff. He has a lot of stuff. Uh, I particularly uh, the only thing I'm jealous of is the is the collection of Amstrad GX4000 games. Of course, because I've, I'm a few behind him, and I probably will always be. <clears throat> haven't got a lot of money to waste on the on the cartridges. Um, yeah, Konami Konami. Interesting. Yeah, Konami Konami. Interesting. Uh, at least a big missile on the loader. Big missile, big tank. Oh, yes. Bit of Green Beret. <laughs> it was certainly... What was... What was? What did Andrea find crap? I didn't see what her comment was there. Mario 2! Blimey! Ah! I actually no, I didn't mind Mario Two. Mario Two was actually the first Mario game I played. That the look how fast that loaded. Oh, beauty! I'm happy. That loaded really quickly, really quickly. Wow! There we go. Giant darts, indeed. Let's play a bit of Green Beret. We love a bit of Green Beret. <laughs> you know it. Let's do the old. Here we go. Escape start. Ready? Oh, oh no, I didn't, I didn't. Is my joystick not working or something? Why is my joystick not working? Let's check this out. What's going on my joystick here? Doesn't, nothing seems to be... I definitely had joystick selected. Didn't I? Sure I had joystick selected. Okay, let's just die. <coughs> and uh, Raspberry Beret is better. I'm sure I had... Um, <coughs> telling her the Konami code. Alright, I'm sure my joy the joystick was selected there. I was going to say my joystick there, but never mind. Uh, yes, uh, Mario Brothers to the Lost Levels, yeah. Play on joystick. Oh, okay. I don't like that then. <laughs> totally forgot. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one. Oh, bollocks. I can't really... Difficult to do it on the joypad. Difficult to do it on the joypad. I have never actually played this game on the joypad, so that's it. Here we go. Right. Jump over you. Oi. <laughs> I was going to jump, not over the ladder. I'm actually pretty good at this game. Oh, what's going on with my flipping controller? Oh, why did I turn up? Can't do it on the joypad. Here we go. Right. Got to make him run. Got to 
Gotta make him run. Gotta make him run. Oh, why don't you turn around, you twat? <sighs> I'm going to use another joystick here. I can't use the joypad on that. It's impossible. Need to bring out this. Need to bring out this. Um, I've, yeah, it's a bit, I think Sam's okay. I've, I've, he's been chatting in the Discord, Sam has. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, to Google Home. They, they do not shoot you, they kick you. Right, let me just get me proper joystick in here. An actual joystick. Okay. Manual fire. We will, we will. That's better. Oh! Done so long. Right. Oh come on! I pressed that. You fuck. There we go. Right. Chase me. Chase me. Chase me. Chase me. Here we go. There. Yeah, got him. Got him in the loop. Got him in the loop. This is the trick. Get them to chase you. Get him to do a Mr. Humphreys. <laughs> Where did the bullet go? <laughs> Great scrolling. Ah, oh, yeah, the bullet's shit. We know. We we know the scrolling's no good. Let's not dwell. He's gonna shoot that dude. Ah, oh, I knew that would happen. I knew he would shoot. <clears throat> oh, I I stabbed him. I stabbed him. There we go. Right, I've got me. I've got me. Uh, I've got. Oh, I've got me flame. Yeah. Dead. Wee. <laughs> oh, I can't turn around quick enough. Um. That's right, okay. Green Beret, very, I'm chuffed it loaded. Really chuffed that loaded. Chase me, Duncan Nouvelle, that's it, Duncan Nouvelle. I don't mind the scroll. Also, I'm just gonna give you a show, show you something. I'm actually gonna change this to a new dual case, because the case is a little bit ropey, but one thing I did notice about this <coughs> is this. Uh, and we're going to highlight it because I like, I like, Green Bear was one of the games I had back in the day, so we'll highlight a bit. Show you the quality of this inlay. Uh, it's really, really good. Right, as you can see, look at that. And this is really crisp, <coughs> really minty and crisp. Uh, not a fold, not a blemish on it. Uh, with the Look at the print, look at the print work on it. And then you've got the original instruction inlay as well. That is really nice, really nice. It's been preserved really, really well. That has. Uh, so I'm gonna change, I'm gonna, yes, crispy, look. I'm gonna change that to a new, put a new double jewel case on that. And uh, it's really, really lovely that. Really, that's really good condition. So chuffed, absolutely chuffed that loads put a lovely new 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 double jewel case on that and everything's happy right okay let's go for a bonus game <clears throat> why not we have got five out of five by the way tonight oh let me get myself a bloody ugly cam <laughs> there we go so it was a success 
it's crispy, I wonder why. Boners! Does it smell new? No, it doesn't smell new. It's they all they all they are folds on. There are no folds on that, uh, apart from where the folds are supposed to be. Who got a full house? It's a full house, by the way. Everything loaded. Right, back to Mega Play 2. Now, you may insult me here. Maybe. Maybe you insult me, but I had a closer inspection of this after last week's stream. And according to the inlay, all the light gun versions of the games are on side A. And all the non-light game versions are on side B. And I was loading from side A. So yeah, bring it on. Come on. Bring on the insults, you're a stupid geriatric senile bug or something, I don't know. Yeah, so, hopefully, oh god. That's slow. Oh, I thought we had a chew there, oh dear. Uh, Bobby's full house, indeed. How does it taste? I, don't, I didn't lick it, I don't know. I didn't lick it. But anyway, let's find out. We're going to load from side B for a bonus game on Mega Play, on the Mega Play 2 now, excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know what game we're going to get first. We had, we had Jungle Warfare, didn't we? And um, was it Bronx Street Cop? I think it was. Right, yeah, we've got Bronx Street Cop. This is the side B. So hopefully, now this way, we get a, a game that we can actually play. Oh no, no work failed to read the manual. Much to our amusement. That's the best insult I can pick. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't expect... That, that that to sort of like do you have a light gun or not it's not rocket science oh yeah I don't have a rocket no I don't have a rocket gun <laughs> I don't have a, a light gun no um, not yet anyway uh, but the thing is I, I I just assumed stupidly assumed that that it was all light gun versions on it so there you go so fuck off <laughs> oh dear Hey, never mind. These are not as bad as loading side B of a flippy flippy. I've never done that. I have never done that. Have I done that? I think I might. No, I've never done that actually. Of a flippy flippy, I've never done that. Because I had flippy flippy tapes back in the day, so I've never definitely done that. Um, I have tried to load a Spectrum version of um, Bart versus the Space Mutants, which somehow I managed to acquire. But. Uh, a rocket gunner in a loft. You in a loft? Are you daft? Yeah, I'd love a rocket gun. I'm the rocket gun. I've got a rocket gun. Miss, the missus says I've got a rocket gun anyway. Sometimes. Um, other the time she just not. There he is again. Old Bronx Street Cop. He's back. On the Mastertronic. Yes, Mastertronic loader. Uh, okay, Isla. Thank you. What the hell is a Flippy Flippy, one with both versions on it? Yeah, a Flippy Flippy is when you have Spectrum version on one side, Amstrad version on the other. That is exactly that. That's what a Flippy Flippy is. I've got a few of those, actually. A few Master Tronic Flippy Flippy. Several. Several indeed. You'd be surprised how many people did try that, thinking the CBC would understand the Spectrum code because on the same tape. Yeah, I know. I can imagine. A loading screen reminds me of maniac cop films from the eighties. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's a bit like that, isn't it? <clears throat> well, hopefully we'll get to play the game this time. What is the name of this compilation? I want to check it out with my light guns. Mega Play Two, Nick. Mega Play Two. And it's all the all light gun game versions, uh, and of course all the non versions apparently as well. But I don't, I didn't know that. But there we go. Um. I'm surprised. Yeah, no, 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 it never worked. It never worked. It never worked because um, couldn't. Could. Oh, oh, GP, really? <laughs> Are you doing the cooking, GP? Um. To be fair, the amount of specy ports understandable. They probably thought the specy games were loaded. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Very funny. Uh, I, I don't think I ever did. I, did, I, did it, well, I mistook one tape once, uh, which which turned out to be a Spectrum 
game. Um, I think that's the only time I've ever done it. Um, I've never done it on stream. So, um, Mikey always gets eaten by a bear. Who? Who? What? 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 what GP? What? 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 <clears throat> if you ever need a character witness for a restraining order hearing, I am available. No, bug. thank you, GP. I will keep that in mind. I will definitely keep that in mind. <laughs> thank you, mate. <laughs> so finally, <clears throat> so finally, 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 before this loads. Go into my Discord. Go into my Discord. If you want to win an Ego Chips game. If you want to win a copy of Ego Chips game. It's the only way to get one. It's the only get a real copy. A real hard copy. Go into my Discord. Go into the competition section. Read the rules. Enter. Simple as that. Just write down your or anybody's. Just write down 10 fucking Codemasters games. And see if you win. Just do that. All you've got to do is write down 10 Codemasters games. Bang. Done. Do it. Go it now. It's the only way you're going to win that game from Ego Chip. It's the only way you're going to own a copy from the Ego Chip. Simple as that. Only way. Only way. Right behind me, I'll show it to you. There it is. It's right there. That. That can be yours. Chaos Rising 1 and 2. It's the only way it can be yours in a cassette with an inlay. Lovely pink cassette. You've got to love a pink cassette all the time. Bit of pink. That can be yours. Go into, my, go into my Discord. Enter the competition. And you also get, of course, I forgot to tell you, you also get, of course, um, trading cards. Lovely trading cards. Very nice they are. I've got some, my one, uh, my, my set is up here. In fact, I've got mine, my, my set is up here. There we go. There's the trading cards that you can get as well. And they're lovely, lovely printed, pr printed, printed, presented. Really well done. So do it. Uh, yeah, cheers, David. Thanks, mate, for popping by tonight. Oh, I love it when it does this. Looking good. I don't, I don't, I don't even, I don't, I don't touch Twitter anymore, Anna. Don't touch it anymore. I'm off Twitter. Nice set, Novabug, and the cards are nice set too. Thank you very much, uh, Retro and Lim. It's nice of you to say so. <laughs> That's for you. Cheers, David. Thanks, mate, for popping by. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't even, I don't, I don't touch Twitter. Tw tw Twitter's toxic as fuck, and I recommend you get off it as well. So um, yeah, just a load of fucking lunatics on Twitter. Um, do you mean the video description? got that tune again that's that tune again it's reused from so many different um, well it's reused but now it looks like we've got yes yes we can play thrift bites hello thrift bite what up bug what up thrift bites you just coming to the end here That's a granny. Don't shoot a granny. Gotcha. Didn't do too well. Haven't done too well here. That's better. I was <laughs> shooting granny there a lot. Oh, that's in the head. Out of time. Score. Not enough hits. Oh, piss off. Um, yeah, true, it does have enough of that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, all right, Arnie, okay. Not too bad for that. Right, okay. Um, 
interesting. We got it. We, we got it working. Don't shoot the granny. I was Brian, wasn't I? I was shooting the grannies. Yes. This is decent size across a little pixel. But there we go. It actually weren't too bad. Once I got managed to play it, it actually was quite fun. Actually, that I could probably get into that. Yeah. Any book, any date for the book, buy a copy. Well, if you want to buy a copy, like I say, go into, like I said, of this book. If you want to go into uh, my Discord, you can get get to there, get to Yellow Belly and Andrew via, via my Discord if you wish. If you want, I'll even set up a room actually. Uh, Yellow Belly, you go, um, Andrew, do you want me to set up a, a channel room specifically for your book in my Discord? Because I can do that for you. That would be no problem at all. Maybe that's maybe you can facilitate everything through there, or most things through there. It's up to you. Let me know. So I can do that. Nice and nice to know, Granny's make Nova shoot. Thank you, Simmy. On that note, thanks. <laughs> On street car. There we go. Yeah. So if you want a copy of the book, there we go. Fantastic. That, 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 you know what, Simmy? You finish on a boom boom. You got a boom. You get, I think you get a boom boom for that. I think Simmy gets a boom boom. <laughs> Full house tonight, everybody. Everything loaded. No chews, I'm afraid, Craig, for you, mate. Sorry to disappoint. But there we go. Uh, I will bootleg the book and, and, and yell to OST. Where is he? No, OST, he, uh, he never turns up to the stream anymore. You know what I mean? Oh, thanks, Vet Retro and Lim. It's lovely. It's lovely of you to say so. I'm off, I'm off after testing Am's Dump. Oh, we, you enjoy your Am's Dump. That's nice. Thank you everyone for watching the stream tonight. It's actually been a giggle uh, tonight. I've actually quite enjoyed myself um, and had a, bit of a, had, a, had a bit of a laugh tonight. It's nice. And I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Uh, thank you very much for popping by, enjoying the stream. And like I said, we will be back. Man, Shovel! Reporting for duty. Where you been, sir? Man Shovel, you're so loud. I'm just about to go. Good God, man. Where have you been? It's half past... Well, it's, it's early for you. But lovely to see you, Man Shovel, mate. Lovely to see you. Uh, we're just about to end, though, mate. Just about to go. Um, yeah, it was great fun tonight. Really good fun tonight. Uh, really enjoyed it. Um, thank you very much. You guys make it, of course. The after party does fold indeed. Pop onto there. And give me a chance to, to get onto the after party because I will be down on there. I won't be on it for long, but I will be on it. But thank you very much, everyone, for turning up to Amstrad Live Game Testing. And we'll be back next week. And like I said, might change the system? Maybe? I don't know. I'm going to think about it during the week. We'll see. Until then, this is No Bug. You've been the Bug Army, most of you. Apart from GP. He's been a hunt, apparently. No Bug. Out.